got here is the variety <laughs> hand tools. Um, almost all of which I, I hope you're familiar with. Um, here's your small wire cutters. You got some spare blades to fly in this pouch in case you wear one out. You break it and then you split it. It's also got a neat little uh, finger guard there so you don't get overzealous and hurt yourself. And what you, you see, you got the uh, zero on the handle, and then you can read the 10 up along here. And right now it's set for 30 inch pounds. If you want to go 35, you, you turn that uh, neural portion about halfway around, so it comes around the five, and that, gives a, that puts you at 35 inch pounds. And then when you're using Feel that when when we uh, we'll start using the tools a little bit here and you'll we'll actually be able to um, yeah pull that torque yeah you can feel that thirty inch pounds is not a lot of torque one ninety okay that's yeah two hundred well, right here goes up to two hundred and the uh, the largest torque I believe we we uh, we'd be asking you to do is, is somewhere in the range of eighty. To they needed 100. this for the GPC tuner, right? 100, 100 inch pounds. For reinstallation. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get aft. Go ahead and reverse it. Okay. Yeah, but that's how you, you clean your tab and fan filters. that you're going to pull it out and dislodge some debris and it's going to drift back into the plane. So you want to keep it in there to clean it. Now what you're going to find is that there's not going to be too much debris on that screen. And the reason is... Where did that have that fit in there with those? The reason is that your uh, inlets all the inlets of the air loops have filters on them. So those are the ones that are going to have all the debris. And so that's why we do the flight deck filter cleaning of all the LRUs. Um, it'll be in your cap. It'll be, uh, or I think it's an easy call out. It's normally done on day two and then every third day thereafter. So you guys are, you guys are flying five days so to use inside one black box. If some sort of failure occurs inside the box and it's localized, an electrical problem, uh, you can wipe out both ACPUs and lose all your audio. So what we do is we take this procedure and uh, we're actually going to hotwire the NFPs directly to an ACU. So that way you can use your ACU to talk to the NFP and, and downlink voice and uh, get some rudimentary comm back that way. Uh, rather than read all the... Would you be no, would you be no ICOM as well? Yeah, all, you all of your audio. Position, you have no Everything audio at all. Yeah. All of your audio goes to the ACCU. And so, so the procedure is going to give you a comm capability with the ground. With the ground, that's right. And instead of doing the full bypass, we would just do a half bypass, and that would hotwire the pilot's ACU, so that if you're coming home and you lose the second ACCU, you can switch on your ACU and use that for your single string to the ground. Okay. Um, I'll just talk you through it rather than trying to read through each and every individual step because you know you can do a lot of switch shows, powering down equipment, etc. The ACCU is located behind that NF28 Echo locker. The only number of start bits. Yeah.
two bottom fasteners in those corners as well. Yes, and the reason it looks different is because the latch is They're just a Velcro down, so you can pull that off with your hand. And that'll give you access to the av bay. Back there, you can see the only box uh, that we've actually mocked up in this training is the ACPU. These are the J4 connectors on that box. And you're going to remove those connectors and then install them onto the ACCU bypass module. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is easy. Channel locks next. Disconnect and then connect. Yeah, you should be able to demate by hand, but we do have the, the pliers handy in case you run into connectors that are uh, hard to hard to handle. Another box next to it, another box next to that. Take it down to something. Yeah. Yeah. But the keying configuration is identical, but the pins are different. Yeah, on the orbiter, you're, you're generally not going to see parts of the connector on the same box that are identical. Yeah. 